Hey guys, how's it going? Maggie HD here and welcome back to my Atletico Madrid career mode. This is episode 4 and the last episode I was told that seeing as it's uh, coming up on uh, the end of the transfer window I'm going to have to get myself in other centre defensive mid because Gabby at the moment is too old. Ramirez is good and youthful but I do need to get in another player. So I've spent a little bit of time and I've come up with a short list of players so we're going to go through them. And uh, we're going to see what we can make out. Sven Bender and his brother Laos Bender down here. We don't have evaluation on them. I presume Laos would be a little bit cheaper. Um, but they both have the potential to grow. Let me just get it up here. To 84. Now some people say that they go to that in the first year alone. So we'll have to wait and see. Something's glitching out here because it won't let me go on to Sven. But So yeah that's something to keep in mind. Then Sandro. We know he's bought 8 million. He's 24 years old. So the Bendo brothers, I think. And Sandro can go to 84 as well. And he's worth 8 million. We've got 20 million to spend. Alex Sang, we don't know how much he's worth. Um, he's 25 years old. And I can tell you he has the potential to go to 85, which is only 2. Now these are estimates. Javi Martinez, he's 24. He's 84 rated overall. He can go to 86. He's worth 15.5 million though. So that is a lot of our transfer budget gone if we want to buy anybody in January. Um, Matuidi, um, he's 26 years old and he has the potential to grow to 83. Ball accounts in January, you can pick him up for free, so that's something to keep in mind. But we do need one for the season now. We talked about Lars Bender. Vidal, he's worth 14.5 million. He's 85 rated overall centre mid. And um, I seem to have lost his potential, but he can grow to be, I think it's up around 87. So that is a very nice looking player. And Ningol and Raja, we'll just call him at the moment, uh, has the potential to go from 80 up to 85. Now, um, he's quite quick, uh, Raja is, and he's got good overall um, stats. Uh, Javi Martinez isn't quick, but he's got pretty decent passing. He's just... I don't know about Javi Martinez. I think I might remove Javi because just because of that price tag. He's not worth that, in my opinion. So, yeah, uh, this is glitching out, uh, as FIFA does. So, removing him. Alex Song, I'm not sure about Alex Song. Would he move to a lower league team? Well, we are lower than them at the moment, technically. Um, Matuidi, I'm not sure about him. Sandro and the Benders really are my top players. I think I'm going to inquire... Uh, about uh, Alex Song, see how much they'd want to get him for. He only signed last season, you see. Sandro, um, he's very tempting. Sven, uh, Nan, Nan, uh, I can't pronounce it. Um, we'll inquire about him, we'll see what we can get there. Vidal, we're gonna forget about. Lars Vendor, um, I think I'll approach. I'll inquire about him as well, just to get a feel, because um, he is pretty much exactly the same as his brother, and it'll probably cost a fraction less. And Matuidi, I think I may just leave off, because he is that little bit older. I know it's mad to be thinking. Um, so that's Sandro. As we can see there, Sandro's looking very, very good. And he is 6'2", so he does have a height advantage, whereas um, all the other players are quite small. I mean, Raja, who's personally looking like the best player there for my price range, Whatever that will be, I don't know, he has to get back to me. He's only five foot eight. So we'll have to see. Anyway, we're gonna Ooh, we have a match you see. Um who's it who are we up against? We're up against Raul Valencia. I think I'm gonna sim this match, I'm gonna be risky. Um hopefully it goes well. Um I said I would play most of the matches, but I'm just gonna sim this one because I really want to get forward in the transfers. Okay, so let's see how this goes. We're at home. I'd be hoping for a good result, but you never know. Um Okay, so Turan got us a goal straight away there in the sixth minute. A yellow card for their player. Um, Turan gets his second in the 26th minute. I'm afraid we're going to get an injury because that does happen sometimes. Okay, Iago Falke got one. Diego Costa gets us one. Um, we're making substitutes now. Leo Baptiste and Suarez come on. Um, ooh, your man got sent off. Um, took off a centre back. I don't get that one now. Leo Baptiste gets a goal. So um, that's 4 1 win. Absolutely delighted with that result. Um, sorry for having to sim it, but I just felt it was the best uh, in the situation because I just need to get these transfers done <clears throat> before the end of the season. I've got the Barcelona match coming up, but um, I'll deal with the stuff in my office first. Okay, I'll see what they say about our inquiry. Uh, looks like 25. Right, that 
<laughs> that just totally outdoes it. Okay, so the board are happy with the way we're performing. Byron can go away with that. That is a ridiculous price. Can't believe that. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Reverse fixture and I'm going to praise because we did well a 1-1 one, one draw. I will play that match. Um, hopefully they'll get back to us. I am really considering either Nano or uh, going for... So Alright, so doing the offer. Uh, they're not interested in joining your team. Uh, okay. And 28. That is ridiculous. That absolutely ridiculous price to put on him. Right, it's going to be Sandro. It has to be Sandro at this stage. Because, I mean, Matuidi, I'm not interested in. They won't sell me Alex Song. Um, this is just ridiculous. Like, that is, I'm gobsmacked that they would actually ask 28 million for him when you could get a bender for cheaper. I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, Sandro, he's going to grow 84. And uh, a fellow left a comment saying he's 86 overall after two seasons. So um, that sounds good to me. Sandro, come on, I want you... Stop it. I hate this glitch. Ugh. <sighs> God damn you, FIFA. You really do annoy me sometimes. So, uh, let me know what you think about Sandro. Two Brazilians from the Premier League. Hopefully I can get him. If I can't, um, I am going to have to try and find a better player. Um, we're going to approach Spurs to buy. And, uh, yeah, I think... 12? Um, let's see here. I'm going to offer them, oh, let's see here, I'm going to offer them maybe 10 and a player and I will give them, uh, let's see here, Tiago, um, yeah I'll give him Tiago, um, he is 88 overall but he's 32 so he's going to go down and um, yeah hopefully, hopefully this will work. So that'll leave us with 10 million in the January transfer if we get any injuries or anything like that. So hopefully that'll work out. We are going to advance on. We might end up playing the Barcelona game. Hopefully we'll win that one. <coughs> Excuse me. I've uh, all right, nobody back, so we're gonna have to play this match at home versus Barcelona. So yeah, <coughs> I'm gonna see how my squad is first. If they're not uh, fully fit, um, I'm gonna have to make a few changes. So yeah, we'll see how we get on. But, um, yeah, we are a little bit tired in some places, but um, I have the players to bring on off the bench, and hopefully I should be okay after that. Um, I mean, David Villa should last. Uh, if he doesn't, Insigne can come on, and so can Leo Baptiste. Um, I was asking about the formation as well. I really did enjoy the formation I changed uh, when I did that in the last episode, so I might have to bring that up again. Right, so here we go, Super Cup España. Uh, hopefully this will go well. Uh, I'm expecting a good result, especially against Barcelona. be interesting to see what happens. Um, we are at home, so hopefully we can pull off a result. It's going to be a hard match like the last game, but let's do this. Come on. Oh, God damn it. I was asleep. I wasn't defending. Oh, that's made it very difficult now. Very, very difficult. Um... One nil Messi in the 45th minute. My strikers are lacking pace this game. Um, we've had one or two chances that I just uh, broke down around here, but unlikely that we may get another chance here. Come on, Kostin. No, nearly. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Close one. Close one indeed. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, first. First half done, one nil guys. Um, a bit disappointing there. Uh, Barcelona lead us 2-1 on aggregate, so it is important I get one or two goals. Um, I'm going to be making some early substitutions, as you can see there. Um, I need to change my formation immediately because it isn't working, so I'm going to do a few that little things now. Alright, so guys, I've switched up to a 4-3-2-1 formation with um, Davi ahead in the striking force. Hopefully we can uh, push on and get a few goals in this game. Because we need to win this uh, cup, basically, for me. Um, Koki out in the ring. Can we get anything? That was so offside now, that wasn't even fucking funny. Oh. Coke. 
Yes, Coke. Yes, amazing goal there from Coke in the 74th minute. Finally, we have a breakthrough. 2 2. Oh, yes. Yes, brilliant bit of play there. I thought he was offside for a second, but no, he just snuck behind the defence. Thank you so much for recommending him to play him because he's well watered. Um, time to make some substitutions as we can see there. Um, the whole strike force is dead. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's get David Villa off straight away for Leo Baptiste. We're going to begin in Singe for Diego Costa and Turan. Uh, we'll try on Adrian there. And that should keep us fairly okay. So, yeah, uh, hopefully we can win this game now. Leo, come on Leo, come on Leo, come on Leo, 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 yes, yes, 98 minute, oh my god, what a super sub, he just battled his way through there, I don't know how he kept on running, oh yes, 2-1 in the game, 3-2 on aggregate, looks like we could have this game set in match, oh brilliant goal, oh finally, I really thought we were going to have to go to extra time or whatever because we both had two away, go we both had an away goal and we both had a home goal. So yes, that is absolutely brilliant. Come on, you, yes, yes, yes. Full time whistle, guys. We have won the Super Cup of Spain at home, three two on aggregate. An amazing game. Um, substitutions really helped in that formation. I might consider using that more. Let me know what you think of four. 4-3-2-1 formation as we see our lads celebrating down below on the pitch oh, this is a brilliant 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 start to our career mode uh, first trophy of the season uh, in the first three games so our first four games or something like that absolutely brilliant we have one as we can see the confetti stuttering or whatever so a brilliant win guys um, we're just going to go back see if we have any transfer news brilliant team performance Leo scoring the winner for us um, I have to say thank you to all you guys down below in the comment section leaving me all the tips and advice and everything. You definitely have helped me to win this first trophy and hopefully we can win La Liga. We'll have to wait and see. I'm sure this is going to be a great career mode though and hopefully we can get our transfer target. Uh, so yeah. Oh god lords, this is going to be a tight one. Transfer deadline day is coming up. As you can see, that it's on the Saturday. We have a game on the Sunday. Um, we've got stuff in the office. I need to see what's going on. Um, transfer offer for Miranda and a press conference. If sports come back to me, that would be great. Um, if not, we're going to have to start putting in things. Um, 7 million Monaco go away. He's worth more than that. And uh, he's an influential player for me. So, yeah, reject all offers and disallow future offers. Just not worth it. And there's a press conference, so I'm going to praise my team because they were absolutely brilliant in that last match um so yeah we need to get that email in oh god oh this is too close to call oh come on come on Tottenham come on okay we've got something in the office hopefully it's a transfer because oh no one transfer deadline day already oh what's happening yes Yes, we've gotten we've gotten him. We're saying goodbye to Thiago. He wants ninety thousand a week. Um uh, gonna show ninety thousand a week. Um he's gonna be uh an important first team player because he is so hopefully he'll accept that in transfer deadline day this has been an amazing episode guys i hope you're enjoying it if you are please leave a like and give me some comments down below thanks for letting me hit uh, 180 subscribers that's absolutely class well right, let's see if we get any offers um i can't think of anybody else we need to get so um no real big moves here uh, as we can see when i we've got we've brought in two possibly even three players now we've only gotten out one so yeah that could be good okay and we have sandro okay that's perfect we're gonna accept sandro and we're gonna confirm that so we have made our third signing and he's going to be a uh, permanent on a three-year deal i think it was so um yeah that's absolutely brilliant sandro thank you and we're gonna stick him straight into the team uh delighted with that oh brilliant so he will slot right in where gabby is currently um it's a pity to see Gabby go, but I mean, he really just doesn't have the legs anymore. He might make the odd um, appearance, but it would be unlikely. Um, I'm going to swap him with Suarez, because I don't really rate Suarez a lot. I really just don't. Um, he's just not quick enough. You do need a bit of pace around the box. So uh, I can then throw him in. Uh, yeah, so we're going to press triangle. And he should come up straight away. 
Sandro, there we go. Now, I know Sandro isn't the quickest, but he's still better overall. I mean, look at those stats. And those are all going to grow because he's only 24, I think it is. So, yeah, 6 foot 2 as well. Perfect player to pick up. And uh, he can play anywhere we want him. So, guys, I have a question. Um, Do we change our formation to the one I used that helped us that helped us a lot to win our last few games, especially against Barcelona? Uh, let me know down in the comment section down below if you want to see a 4-3-2-1 or if you want us to stick with this sort of 4-2-2 formation. Let me know. We're going to advance on. Uh, hopefully we won't get too many offers in the deadline day. I don't expect a lot. Only 19 million has been spent, so that's not a lot really when you think about it. Um. So, yeah. So, Joe Guerra has moved to Real Madrid. Ooh, that's going to be a... Oh, God. That's going to make them nearly impossible to beat now with Ronaldo and Bale. And, oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Last four hours. I'm just going to talk to you now. So, yeah, a great result. We have won. Uh, thanks for all the help, as always. It was amazing to win, especially against Barcelona. I didn't really expect it. I'm not going to lie. Um, And the final three hours, and over 100. And, wow, Jesus. That's a lot of money. Juventus have won Peter Check or something like that. Um, yeah, no real big moves other than um, Mr. Aguero for 70 million to Real Madrid. Um, I don't see any big moves in La Liga, so that's kind of good. Um, Barcelona, I don't think, bought anybody, so they are still dangerous with Lionel Messi and Co. Yeah, so last hour, um, it's basically it. Uh, thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like down below um please subscribe also there's going to be a poll in the comment section down below for an ultimate team series let me know what one you want to see um thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time